sports. It's in the game. Good evening and welcome ahead of what should be a pulsating night of football. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Juventus taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Surprisingly, we're going to focus on Cristiano Ronaldo. What should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he's arguably one of the best players, if not the best player in the world. And do you know what, Derek? What his best quality is, he fully understands what upsets defenders. This is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Blaise Matuidi plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And the main striker is the unmistakable Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it was an incredible campaign, wasn't it? It's hard enough to win the Champions League, but to go on and repeat that success is really, really difficult. But they are a massive club, big expectations, top players. They need a bit of luck along the way. They certainly had some of that last season, but you expect them to go deep into this competition. Can they go all the way, though? And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Cabajal plays with Marcelo. Full-backs. 
Luka Modric plays with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pjanic now. Juventus keep possession and it's positive. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. Difficult shot to take on. Routine save for the keeper. Yes, yeah, the distance. Look how far out he is. Easy, easy save in the end. And cleared away. It's with Dybala. Trying his luck from long range. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And options in the centre. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, a long-range effort, but into the goalkeeper's midriff. Yeah, the hardest thing is picking the flight up. Once he's done that, it's pretty simple. Janic now. And now Ronaldo. Opportunity not. And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. Kadira, it's with Dybala. Paolo Dybala can be a handful. And the cross courtesy of Dybala, still alive. The pressure was on Marcelo. Clattered away. Juventus have given it away. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. Not really typical of Dybala to give it away like that. The ball with Luka Modric. Well, great read there to intercept. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Corner delivered by Miralem Pjanic. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Given away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Possession seeded by Juve. Tony Kors. Well, back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it, players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it's going to take shape and the f can they take the lead and the decision is one of offside here here's Ronaldo and Varane foiling them Corner coming up for Juventus. So the corner played into the box. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Marcelo dispossessed. Keeper's contribution, but what next? And scope for the cross. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, it's still all square, Derek, but I don't know how cracking goalkeeping that was. This is Gareth Bale. Here's Ronaldo. 
And he's got the beating of his opponent. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Dybala. And here's Blaise Matuidi. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And here's Kadira. And now Ronaldo. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. How about the grades for Cristiano Ronaldo so far? He could improve. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. It doesn't hit the post and goes in. Keeper is distraught. So another view of that goal. Kadira, Dybala, given away, well a long range effort but into the goalkeeper's midriff, yeah the hardest thing is picking the flight up, once he's done that it's pretty simple, now Casemiro, the ball with Luka Modric, Space galop. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Surely. Oh, what an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Cristiano Ronaldo. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Given away by Real Madrid. And another goal. in this game well here we see a better angle on it and there's nothing the keeper can do a significant deflection and he's beaten 